I just teleported myself from my desk to this point to show you the printer behind me. It's the Stratasys F170 and we are gonna print the spinner file we have from the Race 3D E2 on this machine in PLA. We are going to measure the noise level and also compare the print quality of these two printers. So stay tuned and find out more here at Twinstalk. So I am at the computer now. I'm going to start GrabCut Print. This is the slicing software used for the Stratasys machines. I also downloaded the spinner file. So we're going to slice that uh, in the software. So I'm just starting GrabCut. And um, we will start configuring our machine. Uh, I did not add a printer yet, so I'm going to add one. And to use a printed template, this will configure the print bed. So let's see, we have the F series, this one. And as you can see, the build plate just changed here. So we are going to import our model here. Add model, uh, desktop, spinner. So that's the spinner there. The model is checked, everything is green, that's okay. And um, on the right side here, you have the options for the slicing software. Um, you cannot change temperatures and uh, extrusion uh, widths or multipliers, etc. in this software. Um, it's easy to use, but uh, you don't have any expert-like functions. So, these are the tray settings. We're checking the slice height. And uh, we have options here, but first we're going to select the model material as PLA. If doing so, you get this yeah, uh, message that these parameters have changed. So you can also see that the slice height, I cannot change it. It's at 0 0.00025 meters. Uh, we have to change that later on into millimeters. So it's a little bit easier to read. Support material, you can change that. It's also PLA and the tip is T16. You can change that. Um, everything you have in the more settings is fixed too. So the PLA printing in this machine type is only for fast prototype prints. You cannot change much in this configuration. Yeah, we have the model settings here. Um, and you can see that when I click on this part here, body, it says model is selected, but I cannot change the part fill style, the fill density, body thickness, I can't change anything. So I will go on, we'll uh, check the settings here and everything is standard. So we're going to slice that. It's here, slice preview. And then we're going to see the bottle. You will see that it's printing on a raft. I will just show you the complete range. Let's do this on the top. So, as you can see, we have a raft on the ground. It's called base here. So we have these base layers. Then we have the printed model. We can check how many parameters we have. It's only two, you see. And the infill is, I think, at around 10% maybe. But we are going to print this this way. And compare it. And we are also going to check if we use the same settings in the Race 3D printer, how the contours will change or how the quality will change. Okay, so that's the part we are going to print. 
I'm going to transfer this to the printer. Oh, the only thing we need to check is the estimation. We can see that this will take 18 minutes. Welcome back! I'm gonna show you how to change the heads for printing PLA. So you can't use the normal model material heads. Um, these are only for ABS and ASA. So you have to use the PLA head and uh, it does come in with the printer. And uh, it just looks like this one here. This is the cooling module. You have one with a cooling fan inside. And uh, this is the print head. I will show you this too. It just looks the same as for the model material. We're going to get the two print heads out and install these and then install the material into the printer. For doing so, you have to open the door here and the latch uh, to, to release the latch on the top. We're going to get the print heads out by just unplugging the cables and then removing the guide tubes. This one. And uh, insert the cooling module and the PLA head. These are just, if you can see that, in a different color. So that you can see which one is PLA and which one is for ABS. This is for PLA and this is for ABS. So I'm gonna put in the PLA one. Like this. And install the cooling module. So you can see this is done in around a minute or so. So I just changed that and uh, we can see here in the material base section that it just trying to detect the heads. We're going to wait a few seconds and then these will show up. Um, during that time I will just close the door here like this and uh, we're going to unpack the PLA. The PLA comes in these big boxes here and uh, it's also packaged in, uh, in a foil here to keep out the moisture and this is the PLA roll you see it here. It's actually really big. Uh, here you have the chip. It's reading the chip and uh, for, from that material code it does know what kind of temperatures to use for the oven and also for the heads. So we're going to install this one here in bay one. So cut off the end, just a second. So I just clip it off the end um, to load it into the machine. So I'm going to get into the material section. When putting in the material into the bay, you will hear a motor which is trying to pull the material. So I'm going to put this in and then feed it into the extruder. This is going automatically. So. It's just spinning there and loading material. I can say load. On the screen you can see how much uh, material is left on the spool and also the material uh, color. Okay, now it's heating up to 230 degrees Celsius to load the model material, that's PLA. And uh, we will just put in the USB stick here and um, start the P.
PLA print from the spinner file. I did an estimation on the computer while slicing and it's stating that it will take around 18 minutes. Let's see if this is true. So, get in the stick. You can actually do this by transferring over Wi-Fi. This printer does not have a Wi-Fi stick uh, included, but if you put one in into the USB uh, ports, you can use the Wi-Fi on the printer too and send over your data. But I'm using the stick right now. I will add the one here from the USB spinner. And you can see here that uh, we have a preview, we have the PLA, we have the starting points, and now I'm just going to put it into the uh, queue. Okay. Uh, bup, bup. We have to wait till this loads up, till the material is loaded. It's just extruding material and purging the nozzle. And uh, when it's finished, we are going to push the start button here. Okay. So. Let's see, spinner file, print, print. You can now just uh, place it onto the build plate wherever you want, but I'm just letting it be on the center and just push print. It's stating that will take 18 minutes here, but we have 49 minutes it will take to heat up the chamber and stabilize the temperature. So uh, I'm going to let this run through and um, we're gonna check in yeah, some minutes how this turned out.